Good day, I'm Dr. David Evans, the founder of Vector Vision and the inventor of our newest product, the CSV2000. Today's video, we're going to discuss the use of contrast sensitivity to document the real world vision loss of cataract patients and to use contrast sensitivity to educate the patients and their relatives. We recommend for cataract evaluation the use of row B shown here on the CSV1000. Row B represents six cycles per degree which has been shown by our research to be the most closely tied to real-world vision. Testing on this row, row B, also provides an accurate measure for a functional acuity score, which can be recorded in your EMR to document the real-world vision loss of your cataract patients. And with the CSV2000, you can easily switch via remote control from any vision test to contrast sensitivity and then to row B. Row B uses exactly the same contrast levels as Row B on the research-proven CSV1000, thus ensuring consistent and accurate results. We also recommend for your cataract patients the real-world driving scene. This test is offered on both the CSV1000 and CSV2000. It presents a range of low-contrast street images that allow not only the cataract patients, but also their relatives to fully understand the impact of real-world vision loss in a typical driving situation. Many cataract patients complain of debilitating glare and they should be tested under both glare and non-glare conditions. These tests measure loss of vision in everyday environments and help patients and relatives better understand the benefits and the potential need for cataract surgery. The proprietary vector vision functional acuity score equates the real world vision loss to loss of visual acuity. In order to determine a patient's functional acuity score, simply use the recording form shown here. The recording form shows the different levels of functional acuity associated with each contrast level on row B. For example, level B1 equates to 2070 acuity. This is the functional acuity score for a patient who could see only up to contrast level B1. The functional acuity score should be recorded for both non-glare and glare test conditions. Thank you again for reviewing our video. If you have any further questions about the use of contrast sensitivity and glare testing technology to evaluate your cataract patients, please feel free to contact us.